Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is a brand new month. It is June 1st, 2021, and this is episode number 217 of your three business tips at three o'clock in and around three minutes. Today, we're going to talk about diverse revenue and not being codependent on a one particular revenue source. We're going to talk about dependent sources, changing markets, and pivoting as needed. So I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. to a couple of clients who had been basically hacked or attacked with malware. And by the time 8 or 9 o'clock rolled around, that number had grown all the way up to 35 or 40. Now, it took my server team a couple hours to figure it out. It is an interesting new um, hack, virus, malware, and as of 2 o'clock today, we got it all wrapped up and everybody's back to normal, but it was quite upsetting to see this many clients be attacked by a particular means, and let's say they were high revenue sources on their website, their revenue got dispersed for the duration of the time it took us to unhack them, per se. Reminds me back when I first started, we were in the social media business and we were building websites directly into Facebook. They were called mini Facebook sites. We were selling them like crazy. Then we woke up one morning and Facebook had done away with that particular tab and that particular ability. All of a sudden overnight, that entire revenue stream went away. Small business owners, what am I talking about? I'm talking about diversifying your revenue, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Business tip number one, you should never have one particular source that is totally your code dependent on for your revenue. Let's say in the web business, we're all about Google ads and all of a sudden Google ads goes away. We're all about YouTube revenue and YouTube revenue go away. Maybe you use Thumbtack and then Thumbtack doesn't work out and you have to pivot over to another source. Or maybe you build a particular niche, which is great, but then six months from now it gets saturated. I see this a lot with my CBD clients that were just opening up pharmacies after pharmacies and selling like crazy, and then it got saturated and all their revenue kind of went away. So what are we are talking about? We're talking about diversifying, not being codependent on one particular source. Number two, markets are gonna change. You need to be aware of that. What you do today to be profitable is not exactly what you may be doing a year from now. And that is tough, that you always gotta be looking on the horizon. The very first time I was related to affiliate market back in 2010 when Twitter came out, we became an affiliate of Eventbrite. And within the first month, I think we made like $2,000 by promoting it on Twitter. Well, I can tell you within three months, that went down to less than $10. I hear from YouTubers all the time that have this particular way of doing things and they make this ton of money, but then it changes over time. You've got to watch the market, you've got to understand competition, and you can't be codependent on one source. Business tip number three is what do you do when that happens, right? You have to pivot. You have to move into a different area, find a different way to do it. We can go from Thumbtack to, you know, to next door, go from Google ads to Facebook ads. You're going to have to pivot. Things are always going to be changing. As a small business owner, change is the one thing you can count on to happen all the time. So don't be dependent on one source. Keep in mind if you're changing markets and be ready to pivot as needed. These are the things that I'm learning today. Anything I learn, I throw over the fence to you because I want you to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.